Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Today's video, I wanted to talk about 15 different resources. There's actually a lot more than that, but wanted to give you a, a good handful of different resources out there in the event that you are in some sort of a financial um, predicament and you need some assistance. So uh, with that, we'll just go ahead and get into it. Uh, but please hit that like button for me. It doesn't cost you a nickel and um, subscribe very helpful, helps to get this information. I mean, there's so much information on YouTube. It just helps to get it to float up when people are searching for things. So with that, let's get into it. Number one is uh, Operation Family Fund. That's uh, specific to OEF and OIF veterans for medical type stuff um, and basic living uh, expenses. Uh, so that's the first one. And oh, by the way, I'm gonna put all the information uh, in the comments below um, for each, you know, the names of all these in a brief little snippet on uh, what they provide. So uh, number two would be the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes. And um, they basically uh, do the same thing, uh, OEF specific, OEF, OIF, and uh, Operation New Dawn. Um, is who they are focused on. Number three, and it's basic housing uh, uh, expenses and uh, general needs uh, type of uh, situation with them as well. Number three is the American Legion, right? So the American Legion has a temporary financial assistance uh, program, and they will basically help with, you know, uh, shelter, um, health uh, type stuff, basic living expenses, food, utilities, that type of stuff. Uh, so that would be number three. Number four, we have the National Association of American Veterans. So uh, National Association of American Veterans, uh, they will uh, help with, um, you know, basically families with children. So if you have a child uh, living at home, their focus is primarily on uh, helping with basic needs for um, folks that have children uh, in in the uh, household. Um, next one, number five, USA Cares. Uh, so if you have some bill, you know you, you're having some issues with some bills, you need to get those things paid, utilities, um, anything like that that's due to a service uh, incident. So something happened to you in service, and now it's, uh, and you got out, and now you're having issues to to make these bills. Uh, that could be a resource for you. Uh, the next one, uh, number six, would be the VFW. So that is the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Most of us know uh, who that is. And uh, they have um, uh, basically grants that they will do for veterans in need up to about $1,500. And uh, it's basically basic living expenses and so forth. And a lot of these, on that note, a lot of the local, your local whatever, whether it's MOA, um, TREA, American Legion, VFW, DAV, any of those organizations in your local area that have a post, uh, if you're in a financial situation, uh, you can contact them. And many of them have small uh, buckets of money that they will give to you as a veteran in a grant situation. Uh, oftentimes, they will pay the vendor directly. So if you're late on your electricity bill, they will write a check to that electricity company. If you have um, a, a bad alternator in your car and you need it to go to work or to go to the grocery store or whatever, um, they will write a check to the uh, mechanic for the new alternator, right? So uh, they're not going to give the money directly to you. They will pay the the vendor, um, you know, the person providing the work. So, um, so when I say VFW in this case, up to fifteen hundred bucks, yes. But also keep in mind that all of these veteran organizations out there have these types of things, and they're not specific to members only. Uh, so you don't even need to be part of uh, the DAV or American Legion or TREA or MOA or whatever. So. With that, um, that was number six. Number seven uh, would be uh, Operation First Responders. Although it says first responders, and often we think of uh, police, firefighter, paramedics, those types of folks, there's also a subset in there that is for veterans. Uh, and basically clothing, rent, food, you know, car issues, that type of stuff, basic living expenses, uh, they can help with. Number eight, uh, Semper Fi and uh, um, America's Fund. 
they do housing, transportation, car, basic living expenses, same type of stuff. Uh, number nine would be combat female veterans. Um, and uh, it's also kind of a subset of Families United and it's basic living expenses as well. So if you're in you know, need to cover some basic living expenses, um, that would be an opportunity if you are a combat female veteran. Uh, Dixon Center, same thing, basic living expenses, housing, work training. They also provide some work training uh, potentially. E-Mentor, um, I'm throwing in there as well. E-Mentor, uh, they basically help to achieve career goals. So if you are trying to uh, figure out a path for a career, uh, they could potentially help as they have mentors uh, that can help assist in that avenue. Um, Veterans uh, Inc. Um, assists with, uh, for number 12, Veterans Inc. assists uh, in finding local housing and employment needs. So uh, they will work uh, with you to find uh, suitable housing if you're in the need of housing uh, and or um, uh, employment, and you'll work with the coordinator on that. Uh, number 13 would be a adjoin for veterans. And basically that is a homeless veterans service um, and I believe that they operate under SSVF. And so I'm going to put um, some information regarding SSVF, which is Supportive Services Veterans Families, uh, in here for you as well. Uh, so Supportive Services Veterans Families is actually a grant funding opportunity that comes from the VA and goes out to nonprofits, nonprofits that serve homeless and at risk of becoming homeless. Now, what's at risk of becoming homeless? You're late on your electricity or gas bill or what have you, uh, and you get a shut-off notice. So maybe they're going to shut it off in 72 hours. Now, if you do not have gas or electricity coming to your home, your home is now not habitable, which means that you are essentially homeless. So they will uh, also help pay those types of gas bills. Um, if you have an eviction notice, um, those types of things, they will help with that as well. Um, so you don't have to be homeless, um, although their main focus is homelessness. You don't have to be homeless in order to get services from an SSVF provider. Um, so next one, number 14, would be HUD-VASH. HUD-VASH is a HUD program. And uh, for most of us, we're familiar with, uh, at least in our lives, of hearing about Section 8 housing. Section 8 housing is a voucher program from the federal government that assists low-income individuals um, get into housing and basically it subsidizes it. So the easy version here would be um, the government looks at your income and they say, you can afford 800 bucks a month but there's nothing that's $800 a month for rent around you. Um, everything's $1,500 a month for rent. So if it's $1,500 for rent, um, the government's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna give you a voucher for 800, or, or not 800, because you're gonna pay 800. So you're paying 800, and then they're gonna come in with 700 as a voucher to pick up the difference. Um, so in that scenario, if it's $2,000 a month and they say you can afford eight, then they're going to give you a voucher for 1200 bucks, right? So HUD VASH is the veteran version of section eight. So that's the best way that I can explain that for those most people have heard of or seen, um, information regarding, um, section eight. So, uh, you can't be a homeowner and get HUD VASH. You, you would be renting a property. So if you are in a financial situation where you are um, not making very much money and you're you know living on nickels, you may qualify for HUD VASH uh, if you're renting a property um, or apartment or what have you. So um, that's a, a, another resource. Number 15 um, is the Modest Needs Foundation, and they help with uh, rent and uh, emergency expenses. So, um, you know, kind of the, the same theme through all of these, but uh, definitely wanted to throw out a bunch of different options and mostly just to open up the awareness that there are a ton of organizations out there that are set to help us if we uh, are in the need. So, um, you know, it's not a forever solution, um, but it is definitely that band-aid to help get you from here to there. Um, you can't just live on it, except for the HUD-VASH one, where that would be something that would be kind of uh, an ongoing thing if you don't abuse it. So 
Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and end it. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.